So let's see if we can't continue our diagram uh, to help us understand uh, Goethe's alternative scientific method and really his participatory way of knowing the natural world. Uh, so for, for, for Goethe, as for Schelling, um, the mind over here is on a par with nature over here. And, um, you know, Goethe studied color, he studied light, and for him, he would talk about the way that the sun, the light from the sun, in a sense, calls forth sight from the organism, right? So he'll say that the eye must, in some sense, um, be sunlight. And that there's a participatory relationship between organisms and their environment such that uh, the outer world calls forth the inner world and they meet and participate in one another. So what color vision is then, uh, what color is, is not as Newton thought, um, just a collection of particles out in the world, a collection of objects, nor is it simply a subjective projection Rather, color emerges in the interplay uh, of light and sight. Um, similarly, for Goethe, when we see a living phenomenon in the outer world, uh, a flower, say, you'll recall that for um, someone like Kant, living phenomena seemed to penetrate below the sensory realm into this super sensible substratum that would connect mind and world. Um, for Goethe, again, as for Schelling, this is certainly the case. The roots um, of living phenomena are shared with the roots of mind, right? <clears throat> so for us to truly understand um, a living phenomenon, a flower, we can't just look at its outward appearance. We have to participate in the dynamic archetypal process that brought it forth. So what Goethe asks us to do is, in observing this flower, come to understand um, how it became what it is, right? So starting from the seed form, and then the first leaves, um, <clears throat> and then the bud, finally uh, the flower itself emerges. And then from flower to fruit, uh, to fruit and body. And you know, for Goethe, this um, archetypal process that we can subjectively recreate connects us, connects the mind uh, and the world, linking this circuit that uh, reflective dualistic consciousness had broken. And you know, for for Goethe, that sense of brokenness, of separation from the world, is a wound that can be healed. And his method um, of so-called gentle empiricism or, or of uh, participatory knowing is, is a way of healing uh, that gap between the soul and the world, between the mind, the knowing mind, and uh, the living uh, reality of which that mind is a part. So for Goethe, there's a way in which the world depends upon the subject for its own completion, just as the subject de depends upon the world um, to bring it to its senses. And they meet in the middle and through their interplay um, give rise to this beautiful, growing, developing world uh, of living phenomena, not just uh, apparent phenomena, but living phenomena, phenomena that have um, super sensible roots, generative archetypal roots, right? So we see the world not just phenomenally, as Kant would have it, but archetypally through our participation in it. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps a bit with uh, Goethe's alternative scientific method.